Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com in another rapid fire question segment. This is edition number 10, but first. My name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, so let's get into these questions. You ask them, I answer them, that's how it goes. So we're gonna get right into it. The first question that I have is from Jamie Irizari, I believe. I might be butchering the name, but anyway. Curious question, I have a Mechman 320 amp alternator running five excess power D3100 batteries. Is it okay that many batteries for the alternator to charge it up? It looks fine on my two voltmeters 14.4 when is off and 13.8 to 14 running the system oh the system's off but the vehicle's on okay um that's, i guess that's what he's talking about 14.4 when the system's off at 13.8 to 14.0 when running the system yeah so yeah that's perfectly fine usually you could run i don't know up to six batteries maybe eight uh you're just not going to get as fast of a refill on your voltage or uh, batteries when you are um, the less alternator power you have so the more batteries that you're having to charge back up with a single alternator it's going to take longer to get them filled back up because you just have one source of power going into your battery bank so yeah it's fun um, so second question is um, Tyler's fireworks hey JP I was wondering I'm currently running four DDX 15s in a PR 4500 I uh, must have meant to put on a PR4500 with a big three 390 amp alternator with a D3400. I start 14.3 and I keep dropping to 12.2 after a few minutes of playing. What should I do to fix that? You could add a down for sound LTO 6.0. I would do that first. You already have everything else you need. I would just grab a down for sound LTO 6.0, put it in the back next to your amplifier uh, or next to the D3400. So if you have the D3400 in the back, I would go alternator D3400 LTO amplifier. So throw that in there and I think you'll be golden on that. Um, next question is from Rogelio, I guess. <laughs> I want to be heard from far and loud. What is better, 118 on 4,000 watts, 215s, 2,000 watts. Oh, this is subwoofers. 118, 4,000 watt subwoofer, 215, 2,000 watt subwoofers, 412s, 1 thousand watt subwoofers uh, somebody commented Josh Murphy says two sent out XV 315s and a good custom enclosure on a nice Korean amp around 6,000 watts you'll be heard trust me and yeah that's probably what I was going to recommend uh, two of the sundown XV 315s on a salt six you'll definitely be heard so that's what I would recommend it would be a great system for you uh, if you wanted to go a little bit more budget friendly, you could use the uh, SFB 8000 to run those amp uh, those amplifiers to run those subwoofers. Uh, it'd be a little bit cheaper, but uh, we made a video about it. If you're going to get the big bad boy subs, you need to get a really nice amplifier to go along with it to complement those subwoofers. Don't be disrespecting them with the SFB. <laughs> anyway, next question is from Steven Kosub. It says, <clears throat> I just ordered one of your ProFab boxes, a dual 12 to be specific. Anyways, behind, uh, besides saving a few inches in space, I'm wondering what to both subs being in the same chamber, how does that compare to a box where each sub has its own chamber? Thanks, JP. Uh, P.S. Love your answer. JP23 has been a workhorse. Still can't wait till you get your new line in. I really want the JP33 when the, life of the wife allows it. Um... I'm not 100% sure on the difference between somebody having uh, subs in a uh, the same chamber and having them separated. I believe your subs think they're in a bigger enclosure when they're like sharing the same chamber and they think that they're in a little bit smaller enclosure or, or two spec enclosure when they're like in their very own enclosures. I could be wrong here again. I don't know a thousand percent, but for some reason that's what's coming to my mind. So if you are watching this video and you know the correct answer to this, help me out with this question. Answer it in the comment section below and let's help Steven Kosub get his answer to his question um, correctly. So 
forward thank you to whoever is going to do that maybe it'll be drew jones at baseaholic productions <laughs> oh he charged me five dollars the other day for using his name in a video isn't that crazy can't believe these people these days i paid it all right next one is crow dissy is it okay if you use cca wire with the 400 to 600 watt rms uh four gauge wire is it safe because i'm barely running power yeah, in that case, you'll be fine. That's that's not a problem. You're not running a lot of power. You'll probably get by with CCA wire. No issues with that. Uh, and that's going to be the last question that I see here. So that's going to wrap up our um, version 10 for rapid fire question segment. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. If you have any questions regarding to car audio or business or whatever, you can or you can answer them. You can ask them in the comment section below. If I see them, I'll try to answer them for you. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, don't forget, I have some Tahoe footage for you guys that we're going to be putting up in a video right after this one, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know every time we drop a video, especially the Tahoe videos, they're going to be crazy this year. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.